Hi guys, it's Lara. Thank you so much for watching and welcome back to my channel. Now I'm here again with another super easy tutorial. I had the boys here again and we made these super cute bats of empty toilet paper rolls and then I thought like I should film this for you because this was so much fun. The kids enjoyed it so much and I thought I should tell you about this idea. I found the idea on Pinterest, so I will link the post that inspired me to make these down below because I always like giving other people credit. And if you wanna know how to make these cute bats of empty toilet paper rolls and a few other items, then please keep watching. Before we start though, a little disclaimer, this project involves scissors and hot glue. So make sure you always supervise your kids and Accordingly to their age, you might want to do certain parts of the project, like for example, the parts with the hot glue, because we don't want anyone to get hurt. So, and now let's get into this. For this easy Halloween decoration, you will need a few empty toilet paper rolls. As a first step, I painted the rolls with a matte acrylic paint. You could obviously also use a spray paint as well, however using acrylic paint is definitely the less expensive version and it also creates less waste. I personally painted also around the edges inside on one side of the toilet paper rolls. You can skip that step if you don't feel like doing it or you can paint around both insides, I leave that up to you. Once I was done with the painting, I let the rolls dry. In the meantime, I took black paper and I outlined the shape of bat wings with a white paint. I tried to make it as symmetric as possible. And if you do not have a black paper, you can take a piece of a paper of any color and you can use the remaining acrylic paint and paint it. Now I cut the wings out. I folded the wings in the middle and I made a few corrections and made sure that the wings were perfectly symmetrical. Then they look like this. If you end up with a few white lines, you can always correct them with a black marker. As a next step, I folded another piece of the black paper in the middle and I used the folded wings as a template. And again, I outlined the edge with a white pen and then I cut the wings out. I cut out four pairs of wings since I had four toilet paper rolls. I also cut out four pairs of little ears for each bat. Next, once the paint on the rolls was dry, I started gluing the ears to each bottom of the rolls. I glued the ears to the side that was not painted inside around the edge. When I was done with that step, I took a few googly eyes in different sizes and I glued a pair of them to each bat. Then I glued the wings on the back of each bed. Mm -hmm. 
And as a last step, I punched two holes into the back of the top of each bed and I put through a thick black cord. I tied the cord at the end and these were the bat's legs. And then my beds were done and here is what they looked like. Once I was done with all four beds, I went downstairs and with the assistance of my wonderful doggy Hercules, I put them up on the metal wire that we have above the windows on the ground floor. So now the beds hang next to the ghosts. I made the ghosts a few years ago. I have a tutorial for that and I will link the video down below. Well, and that is it. As I said at the beginning, it's really important to always supervise your kids. Now, when the kids were making with me the beds today, I did all the parts with the hot glue because I didn't want them to burn their little fingers. And um, other than that, they painted the toilet paper rolls and they cut out the wings and the little ears. And they also helped me to put in the cord. And that's it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this project. I definitely did because I love things that are super low budget and super easy. And I have good news, my fabric for my Halloween costume finally arrived. So I will be working on the costume in the next few days and I will post the video as soon as possible. And thank you so much for watching. As usual, I will link down below my Halloween playlist in case you're new here and also the previous two videos in case you missed them. I love you guys so much and I'm looking forward to seeing you soon. Bye.